friends, Amanda from A Does Life here, and I have a big Dollar Tree haul. Oh my goodness, I have a ton of stuff to show you. Dollar Tree is getting their spring line out, and it's just amazing, and I have a ton of stuff. I've actually went to the Dollar Tree a couple times, so this is a couple trips, not just one trip, but I haven't had time with work and everything else going on to sit down and film for you guys, and I really wanted to before I kind of put everything away because I like to share with you guys. And so I will try to talk really fast because there is a lot of stuff here, guys. And so we're gonna try to get through this video without making it ridiculously long. That being said, disclaimer, do have a lot of stuff to show you. Um, also another disclaimer, I'm filming in my bedroom, so you might see weird shadows. I don't, I don't know. Um, our bedroom is huge, it doesn't have, it has a lot of lights. Um, there are like There are, there are like 14 lights in this room, not counting my desk lamp, and it's still not bright. So um, <laughs> bear with me. Hopefully the lighting won't be too bad. I've got some things set up, so hopefully that'll help. We'll see. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, like I said, the Dollar Tree has came out with their spring collection, and so the whole store looks like pink and teal, which is totally fine for me because that is my favorite colors. And so I am just, oh my goodness, I wanted to buy everything in there, and I probably should have bought more, but I don't know. This is what I got in the pink and teal line. Okay, to start off, I bought these laundry baskets. Aren't those super adorable? And so, yeah, you can't go wrong with a laundry basket for a buck, y'all. And so I got one in pink and one in teal. Also in pink and teal, I got these baskets. These are the... Um, I'm not sure how big they are, but um, you see these at the Dollar Tree a lot in different seasons and in different colors and things. And so I really, really, I was like pink and teal. I don't know. I honestly, I would have, I, I could have totally bought like enough to like organize my entire craft room or my entire pantry in these colors, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I held out. But um, anyway, so I'm not sure where I'm going to use this. But I'm definitely going to use them. I love them. Another thing in the pink and teal, and I actually bought a pink one too, but I already put it in my guest room. Um, uh, the, so I got pink hangers and then I got teal hangers. And like I said, I put the pink ones in my guest room. I actually use them, um, It's we have a big closet, and so half of the closet I keep empty for guests to use if they would wish. And then the other half, I actually have um, wreaths and things. Uh, I, I actually put like each of my wreaths because I like to make wreaths for the different seasons. I actually put my wreaths on a hanger and hang them and that's how I store them. And so I had some things that I wanted to put away. And so I have the pink package already in the closet. Okay, so the next thing I bought were all of these. They all fell out. Every dang one of them. I tipped them up to show you guys and they just all fell out. Okay, so the next thing I bought were these Dollar Tree tulip um, uh, solar lights. Oh my gosh, have you guys seen these? I fell in love with these. And I will say, like, oh, back around Valentine's Day, I bought, like, just a couple. And um, I was at a Dollar Tree, and I was getting some Valentine's supplies and things. And I was like, oh, those are pretty. And then I thought, I'll go back and I'll get some more. And then I went back, and they didn't have any. And I was like, oh my goodness. And so a couple weeks went by and I found them at another Dollar Tree and I was super excited. I got to check. So they're not all for me because that would be a lot of solar lights. But I actually bought some for me. I bought some to give to my mother-in-law because I think that she would like some. And I bought a couple. Uh, my mom passed away a few years ago. And I think that they're neat to put on um, in the cemetery. And so I thought that would be really neat. Okay, so you guys have heard me talk about my flea market booth, and you know that I love jewelry. And so I bought, and I bought those little ring things not too long ago. I bought these at the Dollar Tree. Aren't they super cute? They're, the top is a little flimsy, but they're metal. And like it says, pretty. Can you see that? Let me see if I can. Oh, a black sweater. 
And then this one says like Diva and Glam. And then there is a black one that says Bling. And anyway, they are for like earrings. Isn't that super, super adorable? And so I thought that these would be great in my um, flea market booth to hold jewelry and different things. And yeah, so they're just cute as a button. Okay, so you guys know how obsessed I am, really obsessed I am with my, um, with my planner. I have an Erin Condren planner and I love stickers and I love washi tape. Oh my goodness, I am obsessed obsessed with that. It's a little, might need an intervention. So I'm always buying stickers and washi tape and the Dollar Tree, just dropped one, had Easter washi tape. I was so excited. I think that there were six or seven different types. I bought four. Those are the four I bought, so I was super excited. I just love washi tape for my planner, and so, yes, love it. I also mail a lot of packages, and so I always like to reinforce the envelopes with packing tape or duct, packing tape or duct tape, and so aren't these adorable? I bought two kinds. I bought the chevron pattern, and then look at this. Isn't that awesome? I was so so excited to see the um, the duct tape for the um, with the pink. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, super super excited about these. All right, moving on with office supplies, I picked up another package of these. Uh, no, that's upside down. These G. Uh, Sorry, they're not the G2, that's the actual G69, uh, G something pens, and these are the R2s, which is just like the knockoff, and they write amazing. I love them, picked a pack of those. I also picked up um, some styluses, and these are, um, I, I, I don't know, I don't know where the other ones went, but I, have, I actually picked up like three of them, and so I'm sure they're in the bottom of all this stuff. Um, for my, uh, they are for my phone. I actually got a, um, a card reader so that I can accept uh, credit cards and debit cards um, when I'm at craft shows and I'm selling um, B3. A um, few of you have heard me talk about um, that I um, sell weight loss supplements. And so, yeah, so anyway, it's gonna be great to be able to accept credit cards on the spot. The only thing is, is you do have to sign. And so it's kind of hard to, sign with your finger. So I bought some little styluses and different colors. I also picked up a one inch, yes, a one inch uh, three ring binder. So I like being able to store different things in three ring binders. And so um, I'm not really good at using three ring binders like every day, but I like to be able to kind of use those to organize and store documents and different things. So I picked up one of those. As far as office products go, the this portfolio, and it is just a several pocket um, portfolio. And in, in my line of work, I do so much paperwork, and so I'm always needing to be able to separate it or to be able to have something with me, and so I just picked up that. And the last thing on the office supply um, kind of stationary products I picked up were these. And they are just, it's just colorful paper. It's like a notepad and um, yeah. So I actually i actually picked up these because I make my own stickers. And so and a lot of times I make my own washi tape with my uh, Zyron sticker maker. And I have got a video for that and I'll link it below. But I um, actually, um, sometimes I just want just solid color, um, like washi tape or um, basically it's labels that fit my Erin Condren planner. And so I can make those and cut those to size. And basically I can get the same thing that you can buy at Erin Condren, the little labels so you can mark birthdays, appointments and things like that. I can make in my Zyron sticker maker. I bought just a few beauty supplies. They had these. Oh goodness, what a super great deal. These are the Physician Formula Physician's Formula Retro Glow Mosaic Powder. Oh goodness. And so I actually picked up like five of them and I'm so glad I did because I I was just going to get one and see if I liked it. 
Um, and then I was like, no, it's physician formula. If I don't get them, I will regret it and they will be out. And so I thought, well, I'll pick up five. And even five of them is still like half the cost of like one of these things. And so I thought, well, I'll just pick up five and if I don't like them, I'll just give them away or whatever. But I absolutely love them. Wish I picked up more. Um, yeah, because they don't, they don't have them anymore. I mean, so if you're, if you see these, pick them up because they'll go fast. I also bought an Alme um, Clear Complexion Blemish Heal Technology. And so it's like a two-in-one uh, treatment gel and concealer. Not that. The Dollar Tree is, like I said, getting all their spring products out. And so I bought a few spring-related things. I bought some flower pots. These are plastic, but they are super, super nice. I love them. And they're they're pretty good size. Like, they're, you know, pretty good. And um, they are a biodegradable pot. I don't know. I guess if you left it outside, it would, it would eventually degrade. I also picked up this terracotta pot. Isn't that charming? I loved that. So I picked up that. And then I bought um, some seeds. I bought some just some zini, some flower seeds, and then um, some uh, some seeds like um, cilantro and oregano and um, things like that. So along with that, I bought a watering can. Oh my goodness, like I was looking at watering cans at Walmart and they were expensive. Uh, like they were three or four bucks for a small one like this. And so I picked up this bad boy at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I bought a couple craft things. Um, I'm always doing um, foil arrangements and things like that. So I picked up some dry foam and a styrofoam uh, craft ring. Another uh, pink and teal item I bought were these cute little baskets. Oh my goodness, they are darling. And they come with three for a dollar. And so they are going to make great organizers. Oh, I, I loved these. Another little item I found in kind of the spring like kind of things are these snack containers. They are four for a dollar. And like I've mentioned, I do um, uh, take a weight loss supplement and a they have three products in the in the Vfinity line, and um, two of them are like a shake, and one of them is just a, a supplement pill. And anyway, I love their shakes and things, and so it's hard to take to work though because I, I have a mixer bottle. But um, these I thought would be perfect to be able to put my powders in and take with me on the go for lunch and things. Okay, the rest of the items that I bought are Easter related items or, uh, or I guess the first thing I bought wasn't Easter related, it's holiday. I did buy a St. Patrick's Day um, towel. Um, You've heard me say this before, but it's one of my favorite things to do is just to have a cute little, um, you know, holiday themed dish towel in, um, in my kitchen. Now, uh, I will say Sarah from something different. Um, I love her channel. She is so, um, magical and whimsy. That's what she always says. She, and she's absolutely, she absolutely is magical and whimsy. I love her to death. But, um, she actually suggested, um, that she puts them in her bathroom. And so I thought that would make a good idea. I didn't buy them for the St. Patrick's Day, but I may get a couple more for Easter to do that because like in, in my guest bathroom downstairs, my main bathroom that everybody uses, um, I have two little small towel hooks. And so those would be so cute to keep um, at, for the, you know, the guest towels of just, uh, just a dollar and be able to theme them for the holidays. Okay, everything else I think is Easter. Lots of Easter stuff. Of course, we couldn't have n not have Easter stickers. We got these, and these are the 18 box Easter stickers. Let me say Dollar Tree if you're watching. I mean, not that I'm complaining. I love being able to have 18 boxes of these, but I probably would have bought them if it was just six boxes. It's a lot. I don't know. I'm gonna to open them. I'm gonna take them, you know, apart. Or well, I'm gonna, you know, and so I'm gonna keep six of them, one of each of the boxes, and then I'm gonna give probably six to uh, my kids, like, you know, and have let them play with them, and probably six to um, my friend who also loves planners and stuff. So, yeah, I got 18 boxes of those little stickers. You may remember me hauling a, a another similar Easter item. I did a butterfly, and then when I went back, they had this 
um, egg. And so, oh, it's just adorable. It's glittery, it's sparkly, it's got these super cute Easter che chicks, cheeks, chicks on it. And I am in love with it. It's purple, looks, looks a little blue. Can you see it? It's purple. Anyway, super adorable. I always make Easter wreaths and, and you know, different wreaths for the different seasons. And I picked up some little picks to either do a wreath or flower arrangement. I'm not really sure. But these were cute. These were little, like, um, they're glitter, like, little balls on the end of them. Aren't those really cute? And then I bought these, and they are butterflies. Super cute, super sparkly. Love, love those. As far as picks goes, I also put picked up these. I love, um, if you see my Valentine's Day house tour, and I'll do an Easter one as well. I don't think I'll do a St. Patrick's Day, because I don't, I mean, I only have, like, one towel in the kitchen, and, like, I have a wreath and, like, one thing hanging up in the dining room. It's not really that exciting. But I do have a lot of Easter things, so I may, I'll probably do an Easter home tour. But anyway, I like to just stick these in, like, my little house plants and things, just, you know. Just to hide a little, especially eggs, hide, um, hide a little um, holiday, you know, decorations around the house. This little bunny was super cute. He is all sparkly and purple and, you see that? And so it's like a tabletop centerpiece. Oh, adorable, right? I picked up some of these. <laughs> Y'all remember my, was it Valentine's Day? Like where I, the first time I uh, ever played with these and it like exploded and scared the living tar out of me. Anyway, bought some more of those and um, the kids loved them. They whack them and then they self inflate. If, 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 seriously, if you haven't ever bought these, these are totally worth a dollar, dollars worth of entertainment. Just filling them up. They're so fun. Yeah. I bought one of these little guys. He's like a little shelf sitter, like his little legs and you can like, Across his legs and yeah oh super super cute they had several of these this is the only one I bought I probably should have bought more just because I, I I love him but anyway that's what I got for now I bought these now these were kind of in the spring thing they actually had Easter oh, it says Easter on it but um Easter basket labels and but they don't actually say Easter on the sticker and I thought that these would be great I love to bake I love to make homemade goods and things and these actually say from the kitchen of, and it has the place you write your name, and it has some green ones and some pink ones, and then it just has some just plain to and from stickers. Those are cute. Oh, uh, I bought these bunnies for my boys' Easter basket, and oh my goodness, like I just bought them, like I just, but then when I, um, I don't remember when I was checking out or I got home, but I realized what the tag said. Can you see that? Chocolate scented bunnies. And they, they do, they smell like chocolate. Um, hopefully my dog won't, like my dog has kind of a sweet tooth. I know. But anyway, um, hopefully she won't eat the bunnies. Mmm, they smell so good. It's crazy. I got these little Easter towels. Um, these are super cute. And this is kind of what I was saying about hanging in the bathroom. I actually bought one of each. There's two different ones. But I think that I might go back and pick up if they have any, hopefully. You know, that's how it is with Dollar Tree. If you want something, you got to get it then. But anyway, buy two of, hmm, I don't know, either one of them. It doesn't really matter. And to put them in my bathroom for my guest bathroom. And last but not least, I bought the boys' um, Easter baskets. Um, I'm not sure if, you, if you're on my Facebook. Maybe I should probably put it on my Instagram. It's on my Pinterest. But last year, I did Minecraft-themed um, uh, baskets. They were so cute. Uh, one looked like a creeper and one looked like a TNT or something. But anyway, I don't know if I'll do anything like that. But if not, I just bought these just baskets. Um, so it just it didn't break. It just came, came unsnapped. But, um, anyway, there we go. Um, so yeah, so I bought these for my boys and I figured if I, you know, I don't know how I'll theme them. I, if nothing else, I'll color theme them. But other than that, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what my creativity gets, gets into. I will definitely, um, show you on, um, I'm probably on this channel, but also on my Instagram, Pinterest, things like that. So that's that. <gasps>
Okay, so I know I talked really fast because this was a super big video. It has a super big haul. You know me, I can go on and on about the Dollar Tree and how much I love it and how much money it saves me to be able to decorate my home and have fun for a very small budget. But that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video. I'll see you later, friends. Bye.